we got a nice new spot for you. She always thinks she's flying. It's the coolest thing. She just flattens out because she thinks she's falling. Crazy that she's going where Laggy was. There you go. This is it. Be your new home, kid. Slinky! Slinky! No, no Slinky there. Where are you, buddy? Oh, no. Hey, this video is just taking a crazy left turn. Slinky! Guys, I hear him. Slinky! Hey, what's going on, everyone? Kenan here, and uh, we are inside what used to be Lagatha's home. Um, as of this filming, I still don't have an answer from the necropsy as to what went wrong with Lagatha um, and why she passed. Um, but as soon as I get that information, I'll do an update video for sure because it's very important uh, that we find out what happened. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennedy. This week's special shout out goes to Alexander Lice. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. There have been a lot of theories. It could have been a follicle. We did an x-ray. Some of the follicles can't show up on x-rays. It's possible one burst. <clears throat> um, but the, the speed in which she deteriorated was just incredible. Uh, she went from eating to not to dead. And um, I just need to know what happened. So it's extremely frustrating. But here at the camp, life has to go on and you know, animals need to be cared for and that's what I'm doing today. Um, so what I've decided to do <clears throat> is I am going to, um, I'm gonna change things around in here a little bit and I'd like to put Pinky in here. Um, it would bring her closer to um, good old Slinky. Um, it's a cool area. It's jungly. She can use this environment. She'll climb. Uh, let's see about getting a different water uh, bowl. I don't know if I can get a water pond or something. Uh, maybe that, that waterland tub will in fact fit uh, in this area and then those plants will grow over it. I'm also considering, uh, after I weed whack in here and kind of clean this all up, I'm considering um, maybe putting a couple of tortoises in here as well. That'll help kind of mow down this area. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, we're going to vacuum the nest box out. We're going to weed whack. We're going to mess around with the water. And um, yeah, man, we are on it. That's what we're going to do. So let's get to it. All that going on. Plus the Aquascape guys are on their way over to build the uh, ponds for the Cayman. So, so much happening this week. I'm going to document everything so you can all see it. Um, but let's start with uh, just getting Pinky all set up. All right, here we go. All right, well, Sophia found this little elongated tortoise where she wasn't supposed to be, so I figured she's an escape artist, so let's put her in here. And we'll probably go ahead and grab another male and another female to live in here. They'll keep everything mowed down. Uh, we weed whacked. I got the uh, water going here. You can see uh, much more of a substantial watering hole for uh, our gal, Pinky. And um, yeah, she'll just learn to live up here. Uh, she'll climb around, you know, most of the time she'll walk around in the ground. We'll try and give her some more interesting things to do down here. The plants will grow nice. Um, pretty, pretty happy that we actually have this, uh, this open for her. So 
uh, not happy about the circumstances, but um, let's go ahead and grab her and we'll get her in here and uh, keep this video moving right along, you know? So it's um, always good to have, you know, ample cage space. And right now, as you can see, we got the pad all flattened out for the Cayman ponds that are going in this week. There's just so much happening. I wanted to get this done before the Aquascape crew arrived. Um, this way I can rest easy knowing that Lola is, uh, uh, actually, uh, that's the other thing. I'm putting Lola on the other side. I already have, and she's right here. Lola and Guapo, sadly, are now divorced. So there's Guaps. He gets all this. Lola goes back to where she grew up, and there's Pink's. So I had to drain all this out, <clears throat> obviously. So let's go ahead and open that for Lola. And then we got to be careful with this one. She can sometimes be a little crazy. So we do this. Let's go grab her. Come on, Pink. I got you. I got you. I got you. We got a nice new spot for you. She always thinks she's flying or falling rather. So she flattens herself out when these guys have to jump out of trees. They'll flatten themselves out like that so that when they hit the ground, they're really not jacked up too bad. Um, it slows their fall and uh, yeah, it works. I'm just gonna close this outside one since we don't have our hands free, but look at this. It's the coolest thing. She just flattens out because she thinks she's falling, um, but we're holding her obviously. So don't worry. It's a minor inconvenience for her. Uh, so here we go crazy that she's going where laggy was missing laggy it's kind of a bummer um i really hope we find out something conclusive as to what happened to her but in the meantime let's do this Whoa. <laughs> close call i forgot i had that spring on here almost took off pinky's head okay there you go there you go this is it this be your new home kid this is your new home. Um, I may remove some of these bamboos on top, just get more sun in here. Um, but again, there is ample sun in the morning, comes right through here, and then the afternoon. So during the hottest part of the day, she's just gonna be chilling out. But again, this girl's walking around, and this girl's living in here. Um, again, this whole cage has about a foot and a half of soil so she'll be able to dig if she wants to lay the eggs and it's covered with wire and concrete on the bottom as well here's a leftover from the bucket a little handle from the bucket that fell off but let's see what she does she's just gonna walk around she'll probably smell lagatha as well um which is okay but a really crazy situation you know I love how curious they are. I love how, you know, when they're in a new area, they're very wary, but I think she'll be happy. In fact, what I want to do, you can see how she's a little weary. I want to bring her up to the box. I want her to see the box first. This way she knows it's here. I don't want her to have to like search for it. I want her to know where that is and then she can program herself accordingly. So there's her box. Very good, very good. Now you can come on out. Come on. She'll probably investigate in there a little bit. All the tongue flicks, just checking things out new environment for her really just looking to make sure she's comfortable in here i think she will be meanwhile the water is filling up it comes on a timer um, i have the valve completely open so i can expedite the filling process here i dug a channel that'll bring it out the back um, but I don't worry if this floods a little bit, it's not gonna be a problem. Uh, we also have, of course, sprinklers up there and she's back out, checking things out. 
Hey kid, what do you think? Again, sprinklers all over. There's one dripping right now onto this little bird of paradise flower plant. Maybe that'll start to flower. So here she is. Laggy, unfortunately, is gone and it's a bummer and I'll always think of her fondly. But Pinky is just as much a member of the camp and a queen in her own right. Slinky is just along the way, so maybe they'll see each other. And when she starts to ovulate, I'll put her in with the slinks and see if we can get some baby uh, Pinky and Slinkies, which would be pretty cool. Curling that tail, a little bit nervous in here. You see she's curling, but we'll see. I want her to get out, explore this whole area. She can climb. Um, lots of ground space. Uh, it would be nice, maybe I'll add shelving here um, that she has more kind of square footage to walk around on. We had some dried out chicks here. These I'll just toss. This was just some garbage. I'll just toss this real quick. Put this in the garbage. Slinky's over here. And I did, I do think he came out. Might as well say hello to him. <clears throat> Slinky, your girlfriend's gonna be living close by now, buddy. And Inky is a black dragon female. She'll be living right over here. That's all happening real soon. Slinky, Slinky, Slinky. Look at how beautiful this aquascape ecosystem is. Look at that. And there's some bones. Slinky was eating something there. I don't know if you guys can make that out under the water. There's some bones that he, uh, well, either regurgitated or just stripped the meal from. Slinky! It was a little chilly the last couple days. Oh, let's hope that he'll get locked in here. Um, I think he's chilling out in here. Let's see. No, no Slinky there. Oh, he's out. He's probably in the sun. Slinky! I love that this enclosure is so big that I sometimes lose track of the slinks. So you gotta, you gotta do a little hunting. Where are you, buddy? Where's Slinky? Did you guys see him? Oh, no. Should I be worried? I don't think so. I'm not worried yet. Where is that little devil? I saw him this morning, so I'm not freaking out. He's just playing hide and seek with me. Slinky. Oh my gosh, that is kind of cool though, that this enclosure is that big. And he can hide, as, as big a lizard he is, he's really good at blending into all this foliage. Then again, he could just be in between the universal rocks here. Let's double check. Slinky. No, you're not there. Holy smokes. Hey, this video has just taken a crazy left turn. Hmm. Let's see. I know we're going to find them. We got to get a lizard eye view of the enclosure. It's so grown in. Not in here. Here's his tail. Tail slides. Slinky! Where is my boy? Holy smokes, maybe he's down. Maybe he's down in the water. 
Holy smokes. This is nuts. Then again, it's possible he's in here. Wait a second. Slinky. I'll bet you anything. He is Slinky. Bet she's in here. One more. Look at her. Holy smokes. All right, let's see. Oh, we got to get dirty. <laughs> Not in there. What the heck? He's giving me a heart attack. Wait. Wait. <clears throat> nope. Not there. <laughs> this is crazy. I literally was in here half an hour ago or earlier this morning. And he was in here. Why is he driving me crazy today? This is why I always say it's important to visit with your animals every day to see where they are. Now let's look, there's no obvious signs anyone came out. But you'd be surprised how a large lizard like Slinky can hide. You would be surprised. Plus, I'm going to need to get in here soon and do a cut back just so this, these plants can grow healthier. Where is my slinky? Wait. Slinky! Slinky! Guys, I hear him. Slinky! Slinky! I just heard this moving. Slinky! Slinky! You guys hear that? Do you guys hear that? Slinky crawled back in here. This is the first time he's actually done it with the Universal Rocks, which is fine. There's no way he can get out. And luckily we're done with the cold weather. But, you guys hear it? He looks like he's moving his way back out. Slinky, come on out! That's funny. I guess what I'll have to do is right here, you guys can see, he's able to push through in this area. Let me feel. I'm going to feel in here. Well, yeah, he was able to push this and kind of go on a walkabout. There's probably all kinds of interesting tidbits. Maybe some, uh, maybe there's some lizards in there that he was chasing down looking for food, but he scared the crap out of me. It's always important, though, to get in and check it out. So, okay, so Slinky, he's in here. Come on out, you maniac. <laughs> Come on, Slinky. Do you guys hear this? He's making his way out. Come on, Slinky. Get the hell out of there, you lunatic. This is so funny. I love this lizard, man. He literally, right here in this video, gave me a heart attack. You guys are watching it happen. But like I said, I had just seen him, and there's no way he can get out. We built this thing strong, so he's just hiding, which is fine. And if I really needed to get him out, guys, it's very easy for me to just fold this up and then refill the dirt. Um, like, say it was a cold night and I wanted to get him in. No problem. I just dig this open it up, pull them out. But since this is a nice warm day, I really don't mind them 
kind of exploring and doing his thing. Come on, Sleeky! Sleeky! But it is pretty cool how he... Look at this, look at this. He's definitely coming out. You can see that whole thing moving. He's such a strong lizard. Sleeky! Wow. Cool. First time. Happened right here in this video. So now I know not to freak out if I don't see him for a little bit because I know he's probably just hiding in between this. And uh, this is great, man. Universal Rocks really did a great job. Um, once we're done with all of our projects, I'll be able to get back in and really detail this thing. Uh, it's just been so much work for me with uh, getting Fred's animals over here and building those enclosures that this had to take a back seat uh, because it was functional. It's just not totally detailed. I'm going to trim this up, all the, the yellow foam that you see there. We're going to add more of the uh, material, the Universal Rock material, and um, it's going to look beautiful, man. Really love this stuff. Uh, easy to work with, fun to work with, still creative because you get to use these detailing methods, the uh, uh, sand painting as Emily from uh, Snake, uh, what is it, Snake, Snake Discovery? I believe that's what it is. Anyway, um, I still hear a large boy making his way out. I really would like you guys to see him because after all this excitement, or suspense rather, uh, you guys are going to want to know he's okay. So we're just waiting for him to make his way out. I can't wait to finish this up. Let me just show you what happens if you are new to the channel. You can see right here is where I have detailed it. So it looks like it's just one piece of rock that the wire is coming out of. Uh, love this stuff. So this front's done. I'll get motivated. We'll trim this back and I'll go ahead and do the same thing all the way around until this entire enclosure is completely detailed and dialed and uh, it'll look beautiful. In the meantime, Slinky is making his way. Slinky! You gotta keep calling him. Come on, Slinky! Now's a good time for a time lapse. So look who finally decided to show his beautiful face. Come on, Slinky, what are you doing? Get out here and say hello to everybody, you loon. He is the funniest lizard ever. He must have just wanted to go exploring. It might have been something that got him interested back there. That's what monitor lizards do. They just wander around looking for things to eat. Uh, and he found a pretty fun little area for himself. Come on, Slinky. Come on. Come on. I love you. So what gave me a heart attack was nothing more than my little boy going for a walk and exploring new territories and new crevices in his environment. So that's fine with me, no big deal, no harm, no foul. Uh, you can see how tough this stuff is. He can't rip it. And uh, maybe I'll just spray some foam or something on the inside of there just to keep him from going in. I don't know. Uh, it is something that I want to keep an eye on because if he does in fact go there during a cold snap. Oh wait, are you, are you even coming out to visit us? You're not in the mood? Really? A no show. You really have become something of a prima donna, haven't you? Well, I want to show everybody my boy. There he is. Slinky's doing awesome. Thank God. We love this lizard. So there you go. There's Slinky. We got a little visit and a little heart attack, everybody. Let's go back and see how Pinky's doing. And we can wrap this video up. Thanks for sticking with me uh, trying to find Slinky. I'm sure you understand I was a little nervous. Um, but now I know I learned something else about him and what he's capable of doing here in the enclosure. So um, very good stuff. So we'll go ahead and lock this up. All right. I keep everything locked nowadays, as you guys know. Whew. All right, let's see how well this water's filling up. Oh, look at her. Oh, the water's doing good. 
There she is. Hey, girl. So she looks like she's going to be okay in here. Like I said, we've cleaned it up nice. Um, this is now her apartment, her habitat. And I'm happy that she's doing well. And uh, let's just keep up the good work with her. I'll let you guys know exactly what happens, of course, with her, with Pinky, all the animals here at the camp. And most importantly, we really want to find out what happened with Lagatha, um, Lagatha, rather, and um, just see what it was. And if it was something that was in my control, I will make the necessary um, adjustments. Um, but it could also just be something out of my control. It could have been a cane toad. She could have eaten a cane toad. There's so much that could have gone wrong. Uh, even just biting a cane toad is, is a problem. So a lot of different factors. But thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Um, thanks for being a part of the channel through my ups and downs. I like sharing everything with you guys because we all learn together. And um, well, hopefully we got a happy lizard here and we got more cages to build, and more enclosures, and more animals to care for. All right, guys, thanks so much. Leave a comment below. Let me know what's going on. What do you think? Was it a good idea to put her in here? I think so. I think she's gonna have a lot of space. Well, do you like the fact that I got tortoises coming in here? I wanna hear from you guys, let me know. All right, she's off, she's doing her thing. I'll talk to you guys later. So long.